YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Anthem Barber coming back at you with another haircut tutorial. In this video, we're going to be doing a low ball fade with a slick back. So I like to begin each cut by brushing or combing out my client's hair. My client did come in styled out with product in his hair today. So what you see me doing right here is applying some water and combing through it just so I could soften that product. I am combing the hair in its natural direction. He does rock a slick back so it naturally wants to lay back that way. And this cut I'm going to approach a little bit differently. I'm going to begin with my shear work. During the consultation, he told me that he was really comfortable with the way his hair laid and he liked it. However, he did want a haircut. So when it came down to it, he was just looking to get the tips removed. And so that's all you're going to see me cut. However, as simple as it sounds, I'm still going to cut it in a guide-like structure just to keep everything consistent and evenly cut. And so what I did was I pulled up my first initial section in the center of his hair or the center of his bang or his fringe area and I made my first initial cut. That cut that I make, I'm gonna pull up a new section to the left side and work my way that way. And every time I pull up a new section, I'm gonna add a little bit of the section that I just cut, again, so I could use it as a guide and a reference point. Once I work my way to the left side using that system, I'm gonna do the same exact thing going to the right side. Once I clear out that first section, of that bang or fringe area or the front line of his hair I'm gonna pull up a new section again in the center right behind where I made my first initial cut and I'm gonna include a little bit of the hair that I did cut again so I could use it as a guide or a reference point and then I'm gonna work my way to the left work my way to the right and I'm gonna continue to follow that system for this whole haircut So now that the hair on top is trimmed, I'm going to get on my blend work, but before I do, I'm going to take a wall number four guard, come in with my lever closed, and I'm just going to clean up my work area, knocking down bulk, and I'm going to clean up this four um, nicely because this is what I want to blend my fade into. If you notice, that number four closed is almost blending into that length on top, and it did leave a little bit of weight, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up right now with clipper over comb and tighten up everything. So all I'm looking to do right here is just continue to clean up where that blend is gonna lead into that length on top. And so I'm just making sure that everything has a smooth transition. And again, I set it with the number four guard closed when I cleaned up that perimeter. And so that lets me know when I start my blend work that I'm gonna be blending into a number four closed. All right, so now that I got everything cleaned up, I'm gonna come in with my Caliber 38 Special Trimmer and I'm gonna set my first guideline, which is gonna be my bald guideline. 
this is going to be a low fade so i'm going to go ahead and keep it low and i'm going to drop it slightly towards the back just to kind of complement his head shape So now that my bald guide is set, I'm going to completely bald it out using my Caliber RPG foil shaver. And when I get towards the top of the guideline, I am going to use that flick out motion because I am looking to demonstrate a clean transition from completely bald to stubble because later that's going to help my blend pop. All right, so now that my bald guide is blended out, I'm gonna come in with my 50 cal caliber clipper with the lever open, and I'm gonna begin to set and create my next guideline. I am approaching this blend with a little bit of cautions for two reasons, and I'm gonna share that with you. I am coming in with my guides a little smaller than normal because one, my client has salt and pepper hair, and so it could be really deceiving. And I want to make this blend pop the best way that I can. So I'm just approaching it with caution and just kind of being aware of how his hair looks and what it's doing as I blend it. And the second reason is I've never given this client a fade. This is the first time he typically gets a low skin taper. And so this is the first time that I'm ever really seeing his hair be faded out. And so for that reason, I'm just being a little cautious as well. But once I came in and set my initial guideline with the lever open, I'm now close my lever and I'm going to begin to blend from the bottom of this guide right back to, excuse me, right back up towards the top of this guide. And little by little, as I work my way up, you're going to notice that I'm opening my lever. And every time I do that, you're going to notice that that guide's moving up with me. But that's OK, because that's exactly what I'm looking for. By the time we get right back towards the top of this guide with our lever fully open, it'll be completely blended out. All right, so now that we blended that guide out, I'm gonna come in with my wall number one color guard with the lever open, and I'm gonna begin to set and create my next guideline. I am gonna give myself the same amount of space that I gave myself with the previous guide. That way I keep everything consistent with this blend. Once my guide has been set with the lever fully open, you're gonna see that I close my lever and I begin to blend from the bottom of this guide right back up towards the top of the guide. So I'm literally going to come in with the lever fully closed and blend up right into where I just left off with the lever fully open. And typically that one close tends to leave some weight behind. So I'll show you how to remove it in the next step. I want to point out something about right here this area that I'm working in right now you could see that I'm going to continue to attack it and these are one of the things that I was talking about with salt and pepper hair as far as the hair being deceiving 
is it looks like there's a dark spot there and you'll see throughout this video that I'll continue to attack that area and the truth is it's just the hair color there is darker my client doesn't have fully gray hair he doesn't have fully black hair he has salt and pepper hair and that just happens to be where the color transitions from like a silver into a really dark black and there's nothing you could really do about that so don't take all that time to beat yourself up however go ahead and still approach it like you normally would when you're trying to knock out a dark spot but once you see that it's not going anywhere go ahead and allow yourself to move on and be okay with it and that's my only suggestion when it comes to that so right here i'm coming in with the wall half color guard with the lever fully open and this is where i'm going to remove that weight left behind by that one close so i like to come in with my lever fully open and begin to attack right above the weight that i see and then i'm going to use that fade down process so excuse me that fade down process and what i mean by that is i'm going to close my lever as needed and work my way down until that guide's completely blended out all right so now that that's cleaned up i'm gonna come in with my wall one and a half premium guard with the lever open and just like i just gestured to you right there i am going to use that flick out motion because i'm not trying to set in any guideline and if i do i'm not trying to set it in harsh here's where i want this blend to connect to that length on top so that's why i'm using that flick out motion i am cleaning up giving myself the same amount of space that i gave myself with the previous guide because again i want to keep everything consistent with this blend and once i clean up everything with the lever fully open then you'll see that i'll close my lever and i'll begin to blend right at, from the bottom of that guide and i'll clean up right to where i just left off with the lever fully open All right, so right here where I just pointed out, I'm noticing some dark spots in this blend and I can't decipher whether it's hair that needs to be cut or it's just the way the color transitions there from light to dark. So I'm gonna try to clean it up. And as you can see, I'm unsuccessful because this salt and pepper hair could be deceiving, man. I'm telling you. So my OCD don't wanna let me move on, but I have to understand that that's just the way this hair color looks when it comes to blending in some spots and be okay with it and move on i don't know if you guys could hear the thunder in the background but it's going down where i live so right here i'm going to kind of finalize everything and detail the cut so what i'm doing is i'm using some clipper over comb to kind of refine everything and really give a clean transition from this blend into that length on top you're also going to see me move on to clean up the front area like his mustache and his beard i'm going to knock things down line things up i'm going to apply some products and really just kind of finalize this service so i'm going to go ahead and stop walking you through right here and i'm going to use this time to talk about something i want to mention september 27th for those of you that don't already know september 27th is going down in los angeles california at big al's barbershop we're going to be hosting a look and learn big al's barbershop rum barber and myself are going to be doing a four hour look and learn and i couldn't be more excited about it i'm telling you all this is going to be something so epic and if you're looking to be a part of it i'm going to drop a link in the description make sure to reserve your spot now it is starting to fill up we only opened up 50 seats and the reason we're keeping it limited to 50 is we really want this to be an intimate setting that you could grow from and and it's super dope just some of the things that we have in store for you guys i want to share them but i'm going to go ahead and just keep it keep it under wraps that way just everything's a really dope pleasant surprise i will say this if you're not familiar with rum barber 
go check out their youtube channel they're over in the uk it's such a blessing that they're gonna be over here this way and that everything's gonna go down the way it's gonna go down and if you're looking to advance and educate yourself on some dope sheer work you're gonna want to follow these dudes granted they know how to do all the fades the blends they're great at all that stuff too but if you are looking to elevate your sheer work like i am you're gonna want to follow these dudes so i'm really looking forward to the look and learn so i can look and learn myself big al if you're not familiar with big al make sure you check out his youtube channel at big al's barbershop and something i want to say about al is he's a third generation barber with like 17 18 years in the game successful shop owner i mean this dude it, if if he's not the encyclopedia book of barbering then i don't know who is like i'm so excited to finally be able to kick it with him and just suck up this knowledge from both of them and I look forward to seeing any of you that are gonna make it out. The product that you just saw me style out my client with, it's called Too Dope Hair. Make sure you go give them a follow on Instagram. It's super dope. Here's a look at the final cut, y'all. If you got anything useful out of it, I ask that you smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, I suggest you stick around. It's only gonna get doper from here. I appreciate y'all. Be blessed and be a blessing. I'm out.